Hi guys. All right. Uh, follow up on the last video, real quick. Well, not real quick, but anyway. Not a lot of room here. Um, so uh, I had a comment on the video that had a couple of thumbs up. So there's more than one person that feels this way. Uh, they said, obviously, you don't know how to set up your SDR. Or, you know, your SDR is not set up right, and that's what you were seeing. Yeah, well, you know, after years and years and years of doing this stuff, I, I really do kind of know what I'm doing. But, you know, just to put that to rest. Um, I got my FT817 uh, out, and it's hooked up to the dummy load. The test setup is exactly the same as in the last video. Got GQRX running over here. And I am going to start it running. I am going to first use the 817 again into a dummy load with the air spy and a small whip setting there. It's, everything is exactly the same as the last test. The 817 is set to 5 watts, the same output power as the little true SDX. So we will do a test using the 817. Start recording. This is KB9RLW testing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And I'll stop the recording. Stop the QRX now as we, we go over here to the waterfall and we look. That's a nice clean signal. That's exactly what we would expect to see. Uh, we're cutting off at, uh, yeah, 2.3 kilohertz. Okay, so, yeah. This is KB9RLW testing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's what I want to see. All right, let me turn off the 817. And we'll move the cable over to the true SDX. And let me turn it on. Hopefully it's still on the same frequency. 7152, not quite, but you know, we'll just fix that. All right, 7150. Yeah. Let me restart this recording. And I'm about uh, eight inches away from the mic. This is KB9RLW testing 1234, 1234, 1234. This is the true SDX. Stop the recording, stop the playback, and again, as you can see, we've got huge splatter way out. <laughs> Man, out to 142, that's 8 kilohertz into the lower sideband, and we're throwing garbage out into the upper sideband. This is KB9 RLW testing 1234, 1234, 1234. This is the true SDS. Now, um, I'm going to try backing away from the mic. All right. All right. So this is a little over, I'll be a little over a foot away from the mic this time. Let me start the recording. Oops. Can't do that until I start the radio running. There we go. Okay, record. This is KB9 RLW testing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I am more than a foot away from the mic, and now I am about two feet away from the mic. I am way, way back from the radio. Stop the recording. And, uh, okay, it's not distance. Um, <laughs> I was almost two feet away from the mic, and again, we're, we're throwing energy out uh, to a 7142, so that's 8 kilohertz in the lower sideband, and um, almost 3 kilohertz into the upper sideband. This is KB9RLW testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I am more than a foot away from the mic, and now I am about two feet away from the mic. I am way, way back. Actually, that is 3 kilohertz into the upper sideband. Yeah, so it's not microphone distance. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to check the different bands. So I'm going to take and uh, put this on uh, 
20 meters, 14, 160 upper side band. So we'll put GQRX on 14, 160. And we'll put it on uh, upper side band. Start it running. Hit the record. All right, this is KB9 RLW testing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm about a foot away from the microphone again, uh, which is probably about the normal distance. Stop the recording. And you can see we got a similar thing on 20 meters. Uh, we're throwing energy all the way out to about, uh, oh, almost one, 168, so 8 kilohertz into the upper side band. And uh, down to about 156.5, so 3.5 kilohertz into the lower sideband. So it's doing it on 20 meters. Uh, let's try it on uh, 80 meters. 3868 lower sideband, uh, and we'll take the GQRX down to 3868, same frequency. All right, start it running. Oh, wait. I need to be lower sideband. Yes, yes, okay, we're all set. Hit record. This is uh, KB9RLW testing. That looks a little better, but a little weak. Uh, well, not that great. I'm about a foot away from the mic again. I'm going to get a little bit closer. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, didn't seem to make a difference. All right. And that is uh, 80 meters. And we're throwing gar garbage out about 7 kilohertz. And again, yeah. This is a KB9 RLW testing. That looks a little better, but a little weak. Uh, well, not that. I'm about a foot away from the mic again. I'm going to get a little bit closer. One, two, three. One, two, three. That didn't seem to make a difference. Right. Uh, 171, uh, 371. So, yeah, about 3 kilohertz into the upper side band. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's not distance to the microphone. That didn't seem to change, so there must be some kind of uh, uh, automatic uh, gain control on the mic side, um, or an ALC that's not working right. I don't know. Um, I have gone through the settings on the radio. Uh, there is no mic gain setting. Uh, there's no ALC setting. So I don't know that there's anything I can change here that will change it. But it's definitely splattering, and as we saw from the FT817 test, I know how I'm setting up the SDR. It's set up right. We saw a good clean signal from the 817, same power, um, and splatter from this. So that's the follow-up. Some of you may have noticed the radio is sitting at a nice angle here, and you might wonder what I have it propped up on for desktop use. Well, I used the 3D printer and I made a replacement bottom cover with built-in stand to angle it on the desk for use. And I might leave that on there. It doesn't take that much more space when I pack it up, but I could see setting this on like a picnic table or whatever. And uh, I like that angle. So anyway, this part is up on Thingiverse and I put a link to it in the video description if you want to make your own replacement bottom cover for the True SDX and have a built-in stand. So there you go. Yeah, I did have the SDR set up right. Um, the uh, True SDX is splattering. Now, other people have uh, commented and contacted me and said that they don't see the same problem. Uh, so, you know, it could be my radio. Uh, if you recall from earlier in the series, this one was a defective when it uh, arrived here and I had to do some repair on it. So, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll take Sonny up on that uh, offer for a replacement RF board. Uh, We'll see. I gotta wait till I get a mail drop, uh, and to that effect, I am going to be traveling uh, this week. So uh, the next video might be a little delayed, but it's gonna be a good one. The place I'm going and the antenna I'm gonna look at are really interesting, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, we'll see you in that video, which uh, will probably be, well, I don't know. I might still be able to keep on schedule. We'll see. But anyway, uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. 
Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.